we are at the last quarter of 2022, the November release for both Primo and Primo VE. So uh, we'll start a uh, review what's new and let's enjoy this one. What we have uh, with the highlights uh, for this uh, release is uh, we are introducing a new action, new export action, the share, share to social media. We'll do a demo on that. And we are providing more configuration to allow you to set your preference with regarding to the uh, order of the linking uh, for CDI links. I, um, I will explain more about that and the way that it's going to be rolled out. Based on your feedback, we've previously released uh, earlier this is the give us feedback tool and based on your feedback and some ideas that were open, we are doing another cycle of improvement uh, and we will show what improvements are coming in the give us feedback uh, tool. More uh, about uh, more improve more effort in improving the linking. We are also uh, eliminate the proxy when uh, when we identify that uh, we have uh, open access links uh, coming from CDI. So this is another uh, an, another uh, improvement that we have this release. And uh, a UX improvement, uh, already we know customer, we're doing some customization. If you're using Primo, if your user using Primo as a guest and using their two favorites, out of the box, we will uh, provide them an alert. And, and of configuration for you to enable that, we'll show that as well. And of course, there are additional notable and always updates to share with you. Okay, so before really we are starting as previously announced and communicated, the November release includes the upgrade to Angular uh, 1.8. Uh, as also, as we mentioned, and we did some uh, earlier communication, these upgrades uh, may impact your customization and we ask you to go ahead and prepare. We have provided uh, a transformer tool to help you with this. Uh, what we are actually um, are asking you, as we have the release available on the sandbox two days ago, uh, until uh, you roll out to the production, this is really a good time to test and confirm your customization on your sandbox environment and, and make sure that it's really adjusted. Um, all of the information can be found in this article, and of course, uh, uh, you can also submit. Uh, uh, you can also submit a ticket. I can share that if you are a Primo Total Care customer, uh, we are now in a phase of uh, the activity of moving uh, before. Uh, I believe that next Sunday, the Primo Total Care customer are going on production, and uh, we are doing uh, some of the efforts for the Primo Total Care customer. So just. Uh, if you have any question, please submit a case. Okay, so uh, this is um, this slides elaborate more what is actually coming in both Primo and Primo VE. What are the highlights? And on the right side, you will can find what is coming only in Primo VE. Um, I can say that there is a dedicated uh, dedicated slide to each one of them, so I won't go over them, but it's um, just a convenient for you to share, to see what is coming. Um, okay, so let's start. So we are introducing a new action, uh, a share action to, to share to social media. Uh, where you can use it now, if you choose to enable and set this uh, action, you can see here that I've configured it to be one of the top three. And uh, um, and while you open, you will be able to share to each one of those application, the social application, the WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. And we also provide you with a configuration to decide which uh, social media application to expose. So you have the option to 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 set what um, to choose what to display here. And uh, it was also important to us to give the option of the copy permalink. Really um, very similar to the way that we have uh, in the permalink, the copy permalink URL. So in case you think you want to have only the share 
uh, it's include also the permalink over there. So it's it's really up to you uh, to decide uh, which action to activate. We'll do a short demo for that. Okay, so um, actually search for social share. You can see that uh, one of the actions that I've configured to be at the top is uh, the following. When I open it, I will see the share. I will have the option to copy it, same as exist. Um, where is my permalink? In the permalink, very similar. And uh, I can also choose to share it in the WhatsApp and he asked me, to log into my WhatsApp uh, to continue share this Primo record view uh, the WhatsApp application. Um, so this was regarding the, the share. Okay. Next, next, um, next. Um, um, recently, we've released a um, few features with the uh, regarding to linking in CDI. We've released the CDI quick links, um, the, um, the CDI also option to, to see the linking record, more linking records and more provided that we are working that expose the direct link to the full text. And we've released also uh, an option to view all links or view addition and links uh, with regard in, in the view it, if a user choose to click for show more or show less. Um, Currently, um, by default, if there is no preference set because you don't have, you didn't have the ability to set it, uh, the default provider, the preferred record that was set, was probably uh, uh, set uh, alphabetically, uh, in alphabetically order. As you can see here in the in the uh, view, it as a, a demo here, you have uh, several links available, and it's being sorted alphabetically. So this was how uh, the preference worked. Uh, now, uh, now we are going to give you uh, a configuration, a dedicated uh, uh, section in the um, uh, in the proxy setting in the in the CDI and proxy setting where you can set which one of the providers will be. Uh, you can set to which one of your provider you choose to be at the top uh, or which one can be uh, at the bottom. So you can actually set the preference and set the uh, order of uh, the, the provider's order to show uh, uh, for those uh, CDI links, which will be the preferred link for the CDI. And we will refer to the, your uh, order if you set it. Um, we, we choose to do that because you have a similar uh, experience while uh, you are uh, using the link resolver. You also have their a way of configuration to, to set the preference and we wanted to give you a similar uh, experience also for CDI links. Please note that it is a different configuration. Uh, I just want to mention that uh, all of the information how to set how to do this order will be published and will be available once the feature will be available and this will be uh, only from December 7. So only from December 7, which is considered to be uh, the CDI December release, the feature will be available for your uh, setting and for your uh, uh, preference order. And uh, so you can play or and, and then we will also expose the documentation that explain how to, to set the order. Okay. Next, next, as I mentioned, we uh, earlier this year in the May release, I think we released uh, the give us feedbacks. This was a nurse coming from you, the community where uh, um, you wanted the way uh, a tool for your user to report on an uh, issue regarding the uh, issue that they are seeing in the discovery interface. Uh, you have it uh, per category uh, and you can customize and uh, which categories to show. And behind the thing, the, the well user clicks and on report uh, an issue, it actually sent an email to the library staff to handle uh, and continue handle and see uh, what was the issue reported from the user. So this was a feature that was released as an Immediate as we released it, we got um, 
request for the community. Uh, I think that some of the uh, feedbacks were came came from through the Primo working group that they uh, gather all of the information, and there was also some ideas that were open. So uh, we took uh, we we, uh, we looked at all uh, the whole uh, uh, feedback, and this is the improvement that we decided to release with our November release. So one of the requests was that some of the institution want the the fields description and email to be mandatory out of the box we are releasing it as an optional and some uh, wanted to have those uh, mandatory so we added a configuration to define the email and the description as mandatory fields if you choose to do that please note to go ahead and change the label from the optional one uh, just remove the optional whatever you want to uh, guide your user it is uh, custom of course customizable so this is one option more configuration uh, to to define uh, mandatory fields another uh, configuration that we are introducing uh, based on your request is uh, there was a request that uh, each category will be addressed uh, will be sent to another email address uh, um, because um, we understand that the different library staff may handle search issue when uh, the leave different library staff can handle the linking issue so you wanted per category an option to uh, to send it to a different uh, staff to different uh, feedback manager and yeah we are uh, we added a configuration so that, that per category a different email address can be customized so this is another set of configuration and uh, additional uh, uh, improvement that we're introducing it's uh, more uh, regarding to the customization option there was an issue to customize the icon and also we understand uh, so, so now you can do that if you choose to uh, replace it you can do that there was uh, some kind of bug and we fix it uh, there was also a request I think to to change the icon of the send so some of the institution wanted to have an envelope instead of the send one so uh, I believe you can do that also in your customization. And um, we also saw some feedbacks which uh, you want to have uh, uh, embed links to another maybe chat, library chat uh, within the Give Us Feedback tool. So uh, I think I believe that you can do uh, add link to this uh, uh, dialog box and uh, point your user also to, to chat, to open the chat uh, using this one. So you can do also all of this. Another thing, so this is what is coming actually in the November, both Primo and Primo V as I stated, as some of the idea, as I said, coming from the idea. I just want to, to share with you that we also planned for the February release, February 2023, to uh, improve uh, the access to the uh, to the give us feedback from the mobile view from the mobile device so if you are using mobile device and you would like to give a, to report on uh, give us feedback and you are within the brief results you are able to access the give us feedback tool from the user area menu there will be a link to the feedback tool over there but if you are on the full record, there is no option to go ahead uh, to the user area uh, to report on the problem, uh, to report uh, an issue. So we are going to fix that and add an option from the full records in mobile device uh, option to have access to that tool as well. So this is planned for February. Okay. Next, next is um, something that we already see that uh, some of the institution uh, did with their customization, but as it was voted highly, we decided to take it uh, out of the box. Uh, it's it, it it can be part of the uh, um, product of your interface if you choose to enable it. And uh, what we are now doing, what it is all about, it's about. Um, the notification that you can share with your guest user once they are using the add to favorite on the first time in the se session so you can alert them that if you are they save to favorite those saved records will not be saved permanently but only for that session and recommend them to sign in um, I will do a demo on that So let's see, 
let's see if this is my first time here doing that. If not, I will open the incognito mode. So you can see that I can head to my favorites. And it was the first time that I'm adding to my favorites. So uh, you can see the message to permanently save your chair items to favorites, please make sure to sign in. Uh, and this will also, uh, if I, let's open just a second. Okay. Oops. Okay. Um, so if I'm within a full record, you will also be able to see that if I'm saving for the first time a message, it's also a message being uh, uh, alerted. We also uh, make sure that it is accessible, so it will be read by screen reader and all of that stuff as well. So you will be able to alert your user that they are guests uh, and recommending to sign in. Okay. Um, this is uh, more regarding to Primo VE and the direct linking behavior. Okay, so if your institutions, currently if institution choose to have direct linking in the Primo VE, the direct link, the available online link, the available online from the brief re results will be point, will point the, their user to uh, directly outside to their full text, whereas in the full records, we, if they choose, if the user chooses to for open the full record, the available online just point the user to the view online and not outside. This was the behavior. The logic behind that was that if uh, you choose already choose to go into a full record, you may uh, you can go ahead and look at uh, the multiple links that uh, the, view on, uh, the view online can expose to you and choose your preference over there. Because you're in the full record details, you, you may do that. So this was the behavior that was released. So the available online from the brief results is working differently uh, from the brief results uh, and to the full records. In the full records, we are sharing more information with the user through the view online. This was why the available online just uh, point the user to uh, the available and point the user to the view online. So some of the institution give us feedback and it was also coming the idea that they would like to sync the behavior between the available online in the brief results and the full records. So they can choose in addition to the configuration in Alma to enable the direct linking to also uh, uh, apply the direct linking setting also in the full record. So if they are actually uh, um, set this parameter to, to true, the available online in the Primo V will also lead the user directly uh, outside. We did not release it out of the box because some of the institution like this behavior uh, and, and some, so we have uh, uh, we have all of this under uh, this parameter. So if you choose to um, Sync the behavior. You need to turn on the this. Uh, you need to turn on this um, uh, flag. Let's see. I will try. I hope that the server is uh, available. So you can see here that the available online leads me outside because the direct linking in Alma is actually activated. And if I choose to open the record in the full record. If the if the parameter is not set, it will lead me. It will lead me. Oops, apologize. It will lead me to the view online, and uh, otherwise, if I enable this parameter, it will lead me outside as well here. Okay, so this is about syncing the behavior between the full records and the um, the full records and the uh, the brief results. Okay, next. Uh, another uh, an, another uh, item coming from the idea and feedback from the customer. Um, we want to have um, a correct citation, more correct citation, and improve the citation 
for local records, uh, more like uh, in the cases of book chapters and articles. And now with this uh, um, enhancement, we are also enriching a metadata coming from the local records. And this metadata is, is taking information from the mark field 773 the dollar g sub field under a, a specified format and it will take and extract data over there data like volume issue and page will add it to the phoenix add data section and and if this data exists when we are using the citation format it will be uh, the data will be enriched and added to the citation. You can see here an example of a, a local article that uh, 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 using the APA and does not show the volume and issue. And after this en enhancement, after we enhance and take from the 773.g after we parse the, the information over there, we are actually taking the, the volume, the volume free and the issue one and the publishing uh, date over there. And once we are actually parsing and extract it to the specified field in the, P, uh, in the PNX, we can now uh, have the citation more enriched with this additional information, the volume free and issue one, as you can show here. So we specified in the release notes, what are the expected from format for this uh, uh, 773 subfield Gs to be, um, what, what are the expected format that we know how to parse in order to enrich the, uh, the enrich the metadata. Uh, and I had just, I have to say that, um, we are releasing it here in November, but, uh, um, um, but only after all of the re-indexing, repository indexing and, uh, and the re-indexing, uh, we will be able to see it for all, uh, all the records because uh, this information need to be uh, parsed due, during the processes we are generating the PNX from this um, uh, record. So it will be gradually uh, roll out. Uh, and after re-indexing process completed, uh, the semi-annual, uh, it will be fully available for your local articles, articles and book chapters. Okay. Uh, for the Primo VE, we added um, more way to track the growth of your uh, index in the Primo VE and more ways to ask yourself to, 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 to learn the usage over the year. How many of the records now are being indexed? How many you can, we can, uh, you can use this new uh, Primo discovery subject area that we exposed within the Alma Analytics to learn more about uh, how many titles you have in Primo VE and to also uh, have them in a different cut, how many of them are local, how many of them are external, how many of those uh, are physical, electronic or digital. You can see a, a new subject area, as you can see the Primo discovery on, and all of those measures that we are exposing over there. And if I generate a report over the month, you can see the, the group growth in the number of uh, electronic titles and all of those, you can do it, uh, you can generate a report to learn more about uh, uh, your uh, discovery uh, index. Okay, um, and additional uh, item that I would like to share with you. Uh, we are now uh, we are now handling better handle the open access link. So you choose, if you choose to configure a proxy for CDI links, a proxy for CDI, uh, the proxy will be used uh, a, a cross. But if there will be an indicator of uh, per link for open access, the proxy will uh, will not be uh, used over there and we will use the link as is, as we uh, know how to read this uh, indicator coming on the link level and not necessarily on the record level. So it's a better uh, a better handling of open access link uh, with coming both no Primo and Primo VE uh, release. Okay, a uh, few updates that I want to share with you. Um, also based on uh, feedback from the Primo Working Group and uh, also previously things that we announced and we want to update the new timeline for that. 
So we released in August a, a, a new user setting for the a search history. We added a new toggle. There is an option to add a configuration to add new toggle in the user setting uh, where user can determine whether we can use the save their search history. We can save it or whether to use the search history for another feature, the recent search suggestion. We, so we added a configuration to enable that, but um, some institutions said that they won't activate until uh, they can't activate uh, uh, with uh, an option to turn it on by default for the user. Um, so we are going to have in February 23 another configuration to that. So uh, you can choose to active this, but and, and, and also you will have the control to determine what will be the default mode for those toggle, whether it's going to be off by default or on by default. So you will have all of the option to set for your user on that. Another thing that we worked during the November release is was, uh, but it was delayed. And uh, we worked about uh, on, on the nest of the support uh, of the nest to support exact and only uh, on a new operator in uh, Primo VE for the advanced search uh, to make the search more accurate with no inflections and all just the way the user search, we target to do it for the type tail field to the subject and the creator fields. We worked on that and we need additional uh, extra work to, uh, to complete that. This is why it was delayed from the November release to the February 2023. And same goes for the collection discovery you said, a nurse come a, a really new nurse from this year. We thought we can do it for the November release, but uh, we delay it to 2024 for a additional work. So just uh, wanted to put it online. If you ask yourself what are what happened with those uh, developments, so they are being delayed. Okay, so this is actually what I wanted to cover with all of what is coming uh, with the November release. Uh, and before I, I'm going into what is coming on the first version of 2023, we would like to highlight some of the efforts that we are doing within the Data Excellence project that you already have better already uh, familiar with. Um, so we just want to mention that we uh, we work intensively to reduce the time that it takes to process the rights in CDI. And you can see here that we've managed to, uh, to, to make it down to 34 hours, uh, process the rights within less than uh, 38 hours. So this was a target and we are on it. On it. And then of course we are continue uh, to work on that. Um, we are continue to improve the linking and uh, and the matching process. You can see here that uh, uh, we uh, earlier uh, release uh, more uh, more information to use while doing match, like the provider ID when we are doing a match on the linking uh, on the linking match. And you can see here that we add additional uh, uh, additional provider to work with on uh, in enhancing this matching. With regarding to the quick links, we are increasing the, the list of uh, providers that we are work. And now uh, we are having, we are working with 25 providers in order to uh, uh, provide a better linking and direct linking. And this is uh, the new addition uh, in linking provider that we are work through. And you can learn more uh, on that article. Um, here you can see uh, upcoming event and uh, uh, upcoming event. You can see uh, that is expected to have on the Verdant 60 additional discovery e event during the Luna Learns. Um, and of course, you can also learn. Uh, you can go ahead into our uh, become an expert and see and learn more about uh, uh, Primo VE. And um, what is coming in 2023, 20, the first quarter of 23, uh, you can see uh, really nice features of uh, a really nice features of uh, and there's the list of features coming from your NERS. So we are expected uh, and um, 
and I hope that we will manage to do this call number. We are uh, expected to release a new operator in the advanced search for uh, the start with for the call number. So you can use uh, start with for also the call number field. This is coming from your nerves, both Primo and Primo VE. We are going to add to the advanced search uh, a new tab over there for barcode search. So you can, uh, your user can fill in an item barcode and we will uh, do a match against the relevant record, the MMS, the, the, the records to associate and we'll direct you to there. Um, we expected to have an improvement to the pagination that we got uh, in this nurse some feedback. Uh, some some feedback on that uh, 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 pagination, and we are going to uh, add a few staff to improve it. And of course, um, another nurse was um, to alert the user when a session is timed out, allowing them to extend the session. Uh, so it's also an improvement that we are going to work on coming with the nurse. Uh, as I mentioned, we are going to introduce a new configuration uh, for the user setting to let you configure what will be the default toggle for those search history persistent. As we are also part of Clarivate, we are going to give you an option to not only to the, uh, to the one that are subscribed to Web of Science, but to all the Primo customer that would like to enable this, uh, they will be able to, to see from their Primo interface the, the uh, citation counts coming from Web of Science. And there was the idea that we see keep seeing coming, keep seeing coming uh, in the last, I think, uh, free nurse votes. Uh, about option to search in the favorite. So we are working uh, also, we added that to the roadmap. You will see more on that on the roadmap. We are in the phase of um, prioritize and finalize the roadmap of 2023. So we've added that because it was a continue coming and we wanted to support it as well. As I mentioned with regarding to the Primo VE, we will, uh, was provides a new exact and only in the advanced search. We expect to have more Unimark and Cinemark ma mapping, Unimark coming from the Italy uh, working group. So they send us a list, so you will expect to see it also in the February release. And an additional uh, feedback, we used to have a nurse, we, we already released a year ago a nurse where we were asked to index the uh, the 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 title coming from a uh, uh, five of ma the mark field five o five dollar t field the uh, table of content we were asked to index this as a title and uh, now we are going to do an additional accurate over there and not to index it as a title rather as an additional title this will give you an option. This, this, this will give you an option to also ranking differently using the ranking configuration. It will give you more control and bring more accurate results. Uh, we already uh, confirmed this change also with the Primo Working Group and we would like to have uh, this done earlier 2023. So first, thank you for joining and I hope that we'll have a smooth release, especially with this upgrade to the Angular and uh, so your customization will work and it will be smooth. Uh, we are expected to have, uh, uh, we will see you again in the next uh, next year. Uh, also uh, with the what's next for the February release, but we're also going to have a, a roadmap webinar. We expect to publish it during the January release, January timeline. Uh, so, um, uh, thank you very much for joining and uh, that's it. <laughs>